Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I know it's hot, Mario. It's okay. We're going over to the next kingdom. I mean, like, I mean, like now. There we go. <laughs> we got a bunch of stuff. We even got all the purple coins. It's fantastic. So let's go ahead, pop those bad boys in. We have breached the 300 barrier. Woo! And. Power up! Next kingdom! Yeah. What's, what's more to say? <laughs> so here we go! Let's head on over to Bowser's Castle! Oh boy, we're getting really. Yeah! Bowser's Kingdom! Well, not Bowser's Castle, Bowser's Kingdom! <laughs> Wait a second, oh, that can't be good! Wait, what? What's what's not good? Because it's, it's got ominous clouds? Because there's a ship over there? Well, we beat that ship once before, kind of! But anyway, let's just go over there! See how things are going over at Bowser's Kingdom. Can't be too bad, right? I mean, Mario's handled way worse before, so pretty sure he can handle a little, a little spiky shelled Koopa or two. <coughs> and we're off! Woohoo! By the way, the more moons we get, the better the paint job is on the Odyssey, if you didn't notice that. <laughs> See how everything's getting all like filled in and stuff like that. Anyway, since he took since he took the time to steal the stupendous two, stupendous two, I imagine that's what he survey at the reception. Seeing as I've got some time to kill, of course. Let's use some useful skills. Dive. Have you ever jump? And realize you just need a little more distance. Try this. While in the air, press ZL and then Y to do a dive and fly a little further. I've been using that a lot. But there it is. Now back to our investigation. Next up we have uh, the Bowser in Bowser's Kingdom. Is that Bowser Bowser? I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, who would have guessed that the Bowser Bowser would have been that Bowser? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, who? And there's, oh, come on. There's, there's like a hundred things named Bowser in the world. Come on now. Oh, what? Huh? Are we shaking? Why? Uh... Uh, hey there, Bowser! What's your ho? How did you get that dragon? This does not look good. <laughs> Back inside! Everyone inside! Oh, too late! Well then. That was, uh... Wow! How... Jeez! I guess he's got the stupendous stew over there, a cake, all sorts of stuff on board. But wow! That was... No! How did he do that? That... That dragon looks like you're gonna eat Bowser whole! Well, it looks like we're not going to Bowser's Kingdom. Wouldn't you know it, the Odyssey is broke again, all oh, poopers. Ow, oh, poopers. To fix it, we need to collect more power moons. Just three, though, huh? Interesting. So, yeah, this is the Ruined Kingdom. It's a pretty good name for it, I've got to say. <laughs> it's a pretty small kingdom. I do believe the smallest in the game. You got some swords in the ground here that you can pull out with your hat. There's Bowser on, Bowser on the sword. I should actually give you a little like, close-up. Can I go? There we go. I was going to say, can I go in the first person? Yeah, if you want to good look at them. They, they kind of stand out quite a bit in this area, I've got to say. Uh, actually, maybe I'll save the exploration for when we get back or something like that. I don't know. Because there is a little bit of stuff to explore here and whatnot. And even though this place is ruined, there's a working power line here. <laughs> and we're up to the top of the tower, but why are we at the top of the tower? Anyway, it's just, there's nothing here. Oh, yes, there is. It's the Ruined Dragon! Let's get our revenge against this beast! I guess it looks like he's actually being controlled by Bowser, based on that thing on his head. So, yeah, look out for the Buzzsaw Lightning. Just wait for the right opportunity to do your thing. You'll know it when the time is right. There's parts to ground pound on there, too. 
And also, ah, I was gonna say, also try and get yourself up to its head. There we go. Pull out the sword just like you did before. And there we go. And then ground pound the head some more. It worked! Kind of, I think I missed some dialogue there going quick to try and get it done in one cycle, but that's okay. If you need a heart, just ground pound the stuff on the ground, as, a, as I was about to say. But yeah. So, uh, wow, this is uh, quite the boss. <laughs> this is unlike any Mario boss in recent years or any time ever. <laughs> By the way, you cannot jump on the Ruined Dragon until it stops being all electrical and stuff like that, so be sure to wait for that. And there we go. We can do this indeed! And the attack patterns get more and more complicated as things go on, so be wary of that. You can tell where the attacks are going based on the glowing spot on the ground, by the way. So yeah. Also keep in mind that, they, they, that they are indeed curving, so be, uh, be on the lookout for that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little zappy zap there. That's okay though. All right, there's a lot of swords this time. Lots and lots of swords. Come on, we can do this. We can get them all out. We can save this dragon. Look out, lightning! Oh no, it's over. <laughs> yeah! That was pretty epic. <laughs> got ourselves a triple slash multi moon for that. And he's like, oh, KO, KO. <laughs> Anything to say here? Nah, I guess not. So let's go ahead, grab that multi moon, and then do a little exploring, because I think I can actually get some stuff now. Woohoo! Just a little, little fun fact about the battle with the Lord of Lightning here, the Ruined Dragon. It's. It's not so much that the dragon is ruined, it's that the, like, the prefix to his name is more about the area that he's living in. Like, in other regions, he's called the Crumbleden Dragon, as this place is called, uh, yeah, Crumbleden. So, he's not really ruined, ruined, he's, he's just, he, he, he's in this area of the residence, and they, they call him that as such. <laughs> that looks really cool, by the way. Get your pictures now, folks! <laughs> but we should actually go back up there and see how the dragon is doing. And there's there's a toad with an amiibo thing there, indicating that there is indeed uh, some more to see around here. So you should probably take a look-see. Remember I was going to come down here before? I wasn't sure if I could get everything that I can at this moment in time. That's why I didn't come down here before. Like, I didn't know if this chest was here or anything like that. I was just going to go ahead and focus on the epic boss of Doom, because that was just sensational. <laughs> Ancient treasure chest is completed. There's another one of those mysterious blocks back there if you want to go check that out, but you're not going to be able to do anything with that, so not sure why you'd want to check that out, but you can if you drop down that away. Um, I think there's also something if you were to... Snuff these out, or was it another another thing that you snuff out? Or maybe it's not there. Or maybe it's something else, elsewhere, or something like that. I don't remember. I, it, I thought it had something to do with torches here, or maybe I just needed to get up somewhere high and throw my hat or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> remember, I always said if you could see a place in this game, there's you could probably get there, and there's probably a secret up there of some kind, even if it means a couple of coins. Uh, okay, so maybe I'm, this isn't the place that I was thinking of that has the, the snuff out the torch thing. And he's like, so tired. Poor little dragon. Poor little dragon. Would you like a massage? Don't worry, I won't ground pound your head. Wait a second. I feel something rumbling. I feel something rumbling. I'm sorry, I grounded pounded your head. I was greedy for coins. <laughs> uh... Yeah, you can climb all around the big old ruined dragon here, but it's not really... Like, you can't 
go all the way up there because you kind of kind of slide off to your doom. But you can climb on the horns and stuff like that. It's really cool. You can get a good view of stuff and whatnot. You can even climb on the old claws hanging out on the edge here or go under them for coins, I suppose. Another one of those nifty little secrets the game tends to have. Uh, also, there's a shiny spot over there, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to go take a look-see around here. Okay, I guess that's it. <laughs> and oh. I, I didn't mean to disturb you or anything like that. I'm just kind of kind of looking around for stuff here. <laughs> oh, that was actually the sound of the ground. Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, let's just crack the last one here. And I thought hmm, I thought there was something that you had to do multiple things of in this area to actually like it was a torches or ground pounding something. I don't. Remember and it's kind of infuriating that I don't remember it. So I'm just gonna go up in this rocket right now and Launch to the bonus area ish <laughs> Tape it down in the ruins Hmm What could this be? Well hit the switch and find out see if you stop this you can make yourself a platform but if you hit this it starts up back again. So yeah, you want to start these at the point that will be most ideal for you. It's like that. <laughs> Got it? Good. It's, it's kind of kind of obvious. I don't probably didn't need to explain it that that thoroughly, but <laughs> okay. I just want to take a look around the lower area first here, and then we go around. Hold the Y button so that you can run across that safely. Actually, is there anything down? What was that? I heard a ding. What if I drop down here? Uh, that was death. <laughs> I just wanted to see. Because I'm pretty sure there's a way to get up on that little ledge that you've seen up or a little bit higher up there. But that that was obviously not the, the way to do it. <laughs> uh, okay. So maybe I tried that before. That's why I tried it again. Just dropping down random places. And hold the Y button. Hold the Y button. You'll be safe. Don't worry. Believe in yourself. Uh, oh, okay, maybe it's... Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I think I remember now. What you're supposed to do is go up over here, and then... Dunk. Well, yeah, there's that, but I thought there was, like, something you make a big jump to. Huh, maybe not. Anyway, make yourself the platform of your choosing, preferably in... Well... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. I was gonna say preferably in in that in both when they're facing like mostly upwards in a staircase formation like that. Ah, dang it! <laughs> it's it's the slots for no good reason. There we go. Okay, so it's one before the time that I want to actually throw my hat. There we go. <laughs> gotta gotta play for that timing there. All right, upsy doodle. <laughs> Still looking for a secret though. Maybe it's I don't know. Maybe there isn't a a second moon here like I thought. Uh, I don't know, maybe there is. and Maybe there isn't. Oh, there was. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I need a Koopa to get that. I need to do some fancy Koopa Doopas starting over here. Okay, that's perfect. Follow it around, and it'll go down on its own. It's like it's like pachinko time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get these platforms into a suitable position. And... Yeah, alright. Watch carefully. There we go. I got the hang of it now. Wait, what? Oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, jeez. I just like, I see the switch. I'll hit the switch. Yeah, this seems like a good idea. I got the platforms in the right place. Oh, shoot, that's a reset. Oh, that's a oh, that was actually maybe wrong. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I was supposed to have them on the lower area after all. Really? I don't even remember having to do that. I'll try it, though. Oh, oh well. Well, too late now. I was one, one notch behind. All right, come on. We can do this. We're just gonna flip that eyepiece around those special Tetris holes and make some coins with it. Yeah, I guess that was the indicator that it was correct, because it because it does indeed create coins. All right, 
Roulette Tower stopped. <laughs> so I guess this is called Roulette Tower? Sorta of, kinda, maybe? Anyway, I should probably now erase these blocks from existence just for the fun of it. Uh, no, I can't jump up there from here. Just thought I would check. Oh man, I wanted to sneak through there and be all fancy. <laughs> what? Aha, like that. That's what I wanted to do at the other place. Uh, okay, get that stopped, otherwise I'm gonna be hopscotching. Or I mean, jump roping the whole way through. And we're, we've, we've done enough jump rope for one day back when we were at the Metro Kingdom. Uh, so I guess I want these to be down middle top. Sounds plausible. Based on the height differ- Pardon me? Based on the height differences- What? Am I too close? Okay. <laughs> Don't touch the switch for the love of Arceus. <laughs> Alright. Going up! And I believe this was the last one, actually. Yes, indeedly do it was. Let's go ahead. Grab that moon, and say that the roulette tower has been climbed. Now, I just want to see re here really quick. Uh, lists. Yeah, I think I did get everything for now. I think I did. Or me I don't know. I just... I mean, I will have to come back here later for that special metal block thingy, but still! It just, just kind of infuriates me when I forget something, but there's so many things in this game to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, cleared this place out pretty decently. I guess we should probably repair that Odyssey. There we go. Those three, only three moons are necessary, but we kind of went a little overboard again, as we usually do. Eh, eh, should be okay, though. It's okay. And... She is back up to speed. <laughs> but... Now, you might think, oh, PK Gam, you're gonna go over to the, the Bowser's Kingdom, aren't you? Well, I could. But what if I were to say that there was another kingdom that we faced the boss at that we can actually get some more stuff at now? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, is it not? Oh, are they actually gonna push me over by Bowser right away? Well, I guess they could. Well, that was certainly a doozy of an interruption. I'm glad we got the ship fixed. Seeing as how we got some time to kill, let's do some useful skills. Well, what I was going to do is I was going to go over to the Cloud Kingdom, because there's a couple of moons to grab there. But I didn't, I didn't know it actually popped you automatically over to Bowser's Kingdom. Hmm. Travel tip. Dive jump. Jump and throw your cap while in the air, Brazil, and old Y. If you pull off, you'll zoom straight into your cap and bounce you really far. That's the most advanced move in the game, probably. Well, there it is. Now let's look at Bowser's Kingdom. Architecture, statues, Bowser's Castle. Wait, if he's got his own castle? He's got like 80 castles. Man, we've got to help those t those Tierra Peach too. Indeed we do. I wonder how many castles Bowser's built through the years, actually. <laughs> oh man! It's my favorite iteration of Bowser's Castle in history. I guess I'll leave the Cloud Kingdom since, since this ruined my plans. We've got to infiltrate Bowser's Castle. What we got there is the Stairface Ogre, a new enemy. This is it. The showdown. And yes, it is like a Japanese-style castle of doom. This is just the most unexpected thing I... <laughs> <laughs> of seeing Bowser's castle that one could possibly imagine, at least uh, that I would think. It is just awesome. That, oh, they, they're opening the door for us. Very nice. <laughs> so there's only the one objective. We've got to get ourselves all the way up to the top. And it'll take us quite a while to actually get there. So let's do some Goomba stacking, because there's some side quests to do along the way here, if you don't mind. Goomba stack. Goomba. Goomba stack! There we go. We gotta go take the Goombas around the corner here. And there's a Goomba switch of exactly 10 Goombas, just the amount that we have. Magical! <laughs> there we go. And a moon will appear up on top of there. Yes, even at Bowser's Castle, or well, Bowser's Kingdom. Bowser's Kingdom Castle, <laughs> we can actually go on top of the walls 
in all sorts of places and take a look-see around. Look at that. And we've got some Meowth-style coins going on in the kingdom. And this is actually a pretty big kingdom, by the way. It's not just, like, this section that we're seeing here. We've got a whole a bunch of stuff, and yeah, you might see Meowth coins, yep, yep, yep. So this is this display stretches pretty far. <laughs> anyway, let's grab those and take a peek see around here. Uh, I guess I could hop down over here first of all, scare the birds off. Hey guys! <laughs> yeah, there's coins over here. Also, look around the edges and stuff like that, because there might be something to drop down onto and stuff and whatnot, so just make sure you don't miss anything. And little coin stack. And I guess we could consider this first area-ish done. Woo! <laughs> Meet the Pokio! It can go inside walls by using their nose and then flinging themselves upward like you would do anything else, like a, like a fork or something like that. And you're able to go flop around the perimeters and stuff like that as long as you can stick your nose into it. Uh, you cannot stick your nose into something that's metal, so you're just going to fall to your doom if you try that. So go for the paper siding, or stucco siding, it may, I'm not sure, behind the big wall though. That is what I do know is here. And I'll just kind of get rid of you. Haha, -ha, I've, I've already got mine. So I don't need you unless I lose mine. <laughs> Look, you can even use your nose to peck at other things. It's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, is that really all I can get right now? Because I could have swore there was something else around here. Maybe it's post-game thing. And yes, your nose even goes straight through objects, multiple ones, at the same time. It's a pretty versatile little woodpecker. And we're off! Woohoo! Oh, I guess there is more than one chapter. Kind of maybe because I just did it all at once because I love this place. Because yeah, I see the end of the chapter up there. I just remembered. Well, that's probably a good time to end off the part when I grab that moon. But details. Let's head on over to the third courtyard. Bowser's got a lot of courtyards going on around here. <laughs> just, you know, this is his biggest, ah, his biggest castle yet. So I guess I can see why. It's not just a castle. It's a whole kingdom. I think I actually need a uh, Pokio to do the rest of this area, but I don't think there's a Pokio in access at this per mo at this moment in time. So I'm gonna have to just leave that other side of the wall for now, I suppose. You know, I'm gonna end up going through the kingdom uh, just like a, a hamster through a maze looking for seeds <laughs> eventually with all the other kingdoms. So yeah, I don't see any Pokios, so, so you gotta kind of bait them. <laughs> then you can go up on top of the Stairface Ogre, ground pound their head, and then call it a day. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw my hat to get those coins, but the cutscene interrupted me. <laughs> and there I go! COMPLETED! Infiltrate Bowser's... Does, was it, does it count as an infiltration if they open the door for us? I don't know... I don't know if... Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I mean, we, we, they literally could have just kept us out by just keeping the door shut. <laughs> anyway, smart bombing is next. Isn't there like a checkpoint coming up around here though? I just, I just don't want to end the part until I get a checkpoint for the sake of your sake. Uh, is there really no check? Well, I guess I could start here. <laughs> That wouldn't hurt. But yeah, I don't think I got... Oh, no, wait, I did get one back over there. Okay, I'm dumb, as usual. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my exploration of Bowser's Castle Kingdom, if you want to call it that. <laughs>